Bem-vindos. Bem-vindos ao que já foi uma pousada da juventude. Bem-vindos à outrora conhecida Zona Cores, num país em tempo chamado Portugal. Vocês imaginaram uma grande pirâmide branca elevando-se sobre a cidade, o Ministério da Verdade. Vocês imaginaram Portugal como uma grande pista de aterragem em que a guerra é paz, a liberdade é escravidão e a ignorância é força. Vocês imaginaram uma chuva de meteoritos e depois plantas gigantes caminhantes. Para vocês, nós somos como fantasmas. Fantasmas dos tempos vindouros. Na condição de sombras do futuro, aqui nada podemos alterar. Give me back my broken night is a theatrical guided tour. But rather than being a guided tour of the past of a place, a historical guided tour, it's a guided tour of the future of a place. And you're guided by a performer, and you're guided to various places where you hear different science fictions about the possible futures of those places. And then you get taken to one place where you have an opportunity, you have an opportunity to draw your own future, to imagine your own future for that place. And as you describe it, you see a drawing the future of that place appear on a blank map that you hold in your hands in glowing lines. The show needed to be in, in Portuguese and so we have worked with a complete team of, of Portuguese performers. We had to run auditions um, and find four Portuguese performers. Um, we also had to find a Portuguese illustrator um, which has been a kind of exciting and challenging uh, process. So at the end of the performance, all of the groups who've been out with different guides uh, gather, and they gather for a planning meeting, and they discuss the drawings that they've made for the future of Kuros, for the future of Guimarães, and they try to come to some kind of agreement or they have to agree to disagree. Walking, I was thinking uh, and I was um, dreaming about a, a different city and uh, I think uh, some, some creativity was popping in my mind. <laughs> it's just like you picture something in your head, right, and it stays in your head. But when you see it being drawn into a piece of paper, obviously digital, it kind of makes you feel that it's coming alive and it's a real possibility. So you engage with it in a very different way um, than if you've just seen your brain. It was very interesting to be the um, the hidden uh, the hidden element of the project, uh, always in the backstage, and at the same time having a lot of influence on shaping people's futures and ideas. It's funny that practically every drawing had trees and kids playing with dogs. A lot of kids playing with dogs. Uh, there are also a lot of lakes and water. So the show last night for me, there was a, a really great moment of watching one of the discussions happening between a performer and an audience member and seeing that moment of an audience member who'd been carrying this map and seeing it updating, but not really sure why they had this, this digital virtual map. And suddenly as they started describing something, that, that moment when they started seeing their words becoming an image on the screen and sort of seeing the smile on their face was, was really beautiful and it was that kind of magic that I think we always wanted to, to happen in the show. Thank you. 